I became a pawn in a fight between two different teachers. I was the editor in chief of the school newspaper. Um, and I was also a male rights activist accidentally because the newspaper had been around at that high school for 13 years, but I was the first male editor in chief. Okay. There were, they were all women editor in chiefs up until me. So I struck a blow for male rights. Good for you. I'm a hero. At the same time, I was in, I was technically in the speech and debate team. All right. My friend Jamie convinced me to do um uh <clears throat> I didn't I thought speech and debate was just I'm going to wear a suit and a tie and I'm going to debate total strangers about serious issues that I don't give a crap about. But there are different uh acting types of speech and debate. There is a, a duo in Terp, okay. which is two people acting out a scene, and it can be any scene you want. <clears throat> There's also um, solo uh, dramatic in Terp and solo comedic in Terp. And so my friend Jamie said, let's go into the speech and debate team. We can be in, we can be, we can do duo in Terp. I've got this one scene and it's a serious scene, but we're going to add all this funny stuff to it. And I felt uncomfortable about that, but I went ahead with it because he was excited and whatever. I don't have anything better to do. So we did a duo interpretive scene and we competed at various events and we were never successful. And we, I, I we ended up like, we went to the state finals and we were like, I think we were ninth yeah. in the state. So we didn't do well. Jamie was upset. He quit the speech and debate team, but the speech and debate teacher on my sophomore year said, Hey, you've got you, you know, you're really good. And I've seen you in some of the school plays and you're talented. Why don't you try and stay in this? Maybe you could do your own solo comedic interpretive scene. And so I, so the next semester the next school year i literally grabbed the first monologue book i found yeah. and found the first monologue i i the first monologue i said okay i'm going with this it it, it in retrospect maybe i should have put some more thought into it it was a monologue called go to church camp learn to kiss okay and it was by peg Corette. And it was a boring ass monologue, but I tried to make it exciting by moving around and I did crazy stuff and my voice was insane. So by the end of the year, I got to fifth place in the state. And that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Apparently, if you get first, second or third place in the state finals, <clears throat> then you go to nationals. Ooh, which just is like in Lee. And uh, Nationals is in Washington, D.C. every year. So I, I, so my senior year, I said, I'm going to try and be successful in this. Yeah. And also my senior year, I was the editor-in-chief of the school newspaper. So I tried really hard with speech and debate. And I got, <clears throat> I wanted to do something different, something that nobody else had seen before. A lot of the people who are really successful were doing things that other people had done and that, that you've seen before over and over again. Oh, I'm going to do this scene from Greater Tuna. Oh, I'm going to do this scene. So I wanted something different. So I got the Matt Groening comic strip, Life in Hell. Uh -huh. And he had like 25 part series, School is Hell. And I literally got every bit of dialogue that was written in that comic strip. And I turned it into a big giant play. And I edited it into a tight 10 minute piece and i i turned a comic strip into a uh into a monologue and it, i was the first person to ever do this yeah. and people were really upset and i was always getting challenged by people in the beginning and i always had the the book that i bought at my local bookstore here's the book right here i bought it all of the words are in here here's my script and here's the book feel free so it got to the point that I would just be carrying the book around with me from every to every contest that I had. I would go from this classroom to this classroom. I had yeah. love. It. I had school as hell in my hands, and it got to the point where my so well, they challenged you like how like it wasn't 
a legitimate monologue or no like you're making that up and what if you were uh then you could be disqualified jamie and i creativity is discouraged yeah no it has to be a published work okay yeah so so it got to the point where I developed a name for myself and people were looking for the school is hell guy and people would lose in the opening rounds. And then they would literally just follow me to all of my it's like, oh, I just I just lost. But where's the school is hell guy going to be at next? Where is it going to be in this room? OK, I'm going there. Yeah. So I, I got a name for myself. I worked my butt off and all of the rest of my high school debate team completely lost. But I got third place in the state. Nice. For, for a solo, humorous interp, which meant I qualified to go to the national competition in Washington, D.C., in our nation's capital, which happened to be the exact same day that the high school journalism conference was happening in San Francisco. Hmm. And I really wanted to go to the speech and debate uh, to the finals, yeah. to the national contest. But my journalism teacher wouldn't let me. She kept saying, you can't go to speech because speech is what you want to do. Going to the journalism conference with your staff is what you should do. Ooh. So the speech and debate teacher said, Steve, it's probably just a misunderstanding. I'll go to your journalism teacher and talk to her and tell her how much this means to you and how this could lead to important things. They're even going to like like televise it on C-SPAN. This is a big deal for you yeah. and you should do it. And so don't worry, I'll talk to the teacher. And then the, the, the speech and debate teacher comes back 20 minutes later, like in tears. <laughs> she is a horrible person and she won't let you go. And I tried, Steve. I tried. Oh, so, man. So it was a horrible position to be in. Literally, I would be in class, like in science, and the science teacher would be Steve, can you come up to my desk? And I'm like, okay, crap, what did I do? And I go, yes, you wanted to see me, teacher? Yes. What are you thinking of doing? You're going to go with the journalism or are you going to go with the speech and debate? Personally, I think you should go with journalism. That's the responsible thing, Steve. But I just wanted to know what you were thinking. What are you going to do, Steve? What are you going to do? And who was this questioning you? Uh, the science teacher. The science teacher. Yeah, just people that had it became something that everybody was talking about. All right. And all the teachers were like, oh, Steve, Steve, what are you going to do? Huh? What are you leaning towards? Huh? Huh? <laughs> if I were you, I'd pick this. But what are, what are you going to do? So it became this like horrible thing that I was. Do just, you suspect that there was wagering? I don't know. There might have been. Yeah. But eventually, what I chose was I chose to go with journalism. I wanted to do the uh, speech and debate, but I thought that by picking journalism, I was picking the responsible adult thing. Yes. But what I was really doing was, if I pick the responsible adult thing, people will respect me. I wasn't doing it for the right things. I was right. doing it because, oh... People will be like, Steve, you gave up this big, important thing to do this. How adult of you. Mm -hmm. We should have sex. That's really what I was. <laughs> that's really why I chose that. Yeah. I was a pawn. Like, I could have gone to my parents and asked for help, but uh, it, I didn't have the best family life. I knew not to ask my parents for help about anything personal. Right. My parents didn't care. My parents just didn't care. So um, when I went to college, what I wanted to do was theater. But for some reason, I, I had such a horrible time with, with fighting against speech and debate and journalism that I said, I want to do theater. But when I was in high school, journalism won. So I guess I'm learning to be a reporter in college. Okay. 